morning students i hope you are doing well so today we will discuss about steps in the b tree deletion so we will discuss about what are the steps how to delete the elements in the b tree and the last video we have discussed about how to insert the elements in the b tree so here to delete the elements in the b tree the we will have two cases usually one is that the whatever the key value you want to delete it can be at the leaf level or it can be at the internal level internal node or it can be at the root node so what we will do if we want to delete an element or a key which is there in the leaf node we will discuss then we will discuss what we have to do if the element is there in the non leaf nodes okay so first before delete in discussing about the steps we have discussed that in each node we will have minimum number of keys and maximum number of keys are possible so in the deletion we have to think about the underflow condition meaning is that if you are deleting any element in the node the node should not have less than the number of means minimum number of uh, key nodes is it clear suppose let's say that we have a node which has min which should have minimum three keys so let's say that it has three keys one two three okay so this is the minimum number of keys me less than three it is not possible in the node so in that case we should not delete the three directly if we delete three directly then what will happen this node will have an underflow condition is it clear so in these cases what we have to do if it is a leaf node what we have to do if it is a non leaf node what we have to do we will discuss now if it is a leaf node and it has more than the minimum number of keys then delete it no problem suppose let's take that we have four elements and minimum number of elements possible in a leaf node let's take that it is 3 then i can if i want to delete four i can delete four without any problem because still it is not in underflow condition is it clear so if it is having more than the minimum number of keys then no problem you simply delete it whatever the key element you want to delete yes meaning is that if it is not having more than the minimum number of keys then what we have to do we have to consider the siblings of the leaf node i think everyone know what is a sibling if this is a node is there okay if this is a node and let's say that this is the node and this is the node you have you have a parent node a and b c d let's say that you want to delete an element from this node okay then what is the siblings b and d are the siblings for the node c is it clear i hope it is clear for you because i don't want to erase the remaining content okay so i what i want to say is that if b and d are the siblings for the c so we have to consider the siblings of the leaf node if any one of the siblings has more than the minimum number of keys means either b or d have more number of keys than the minimum number of keys then better borrow from it how to borrow it all these things we will discuss with examples okay now you don't worry okay yes meaning is that both b and d does not have more than the minimum number means both b and d cannot able to borrow first it will check whether b can give one element to the c means it will check whether c can borrow from the b or not if it is not possible it will try to borrow from d if both are not possible means it cannot either borrow from the b and d that's that is the step we will discussing else means if you are not able to borrow merge the leaf node with any of its siblings and parent node merge the leaf node with any of its siblings and parent node meaning is that you have to merge either b and c with the parent node or you have to merge c and d with the parent node all these things we i think you cannot understand with this explanation i will discuss with few examples so that you will understand in a better way if step 4 makes the parent node means when you are merging the pair element in the parent node if if that scenario makes that less than minimum number of keys meaning is that once you are merging the parent node with the b and c then it will have one node one element less than what it should have previously so in that case what we have to do we have to propagate the step 3 and step 4 towards the root node 
So we will do again the step 3 and step 4 recursively such a way that it will have the B3 properties. Now this is about the leaf node scenario. If it is a non-leaf node, if the key to be deleted at the internal node or root node, replace it with in order succeeded or predecessor. We in BS tree, in binary search trees, in algorithm course, you should have know what is a succeeder and what is a predecessor. I hope you know it. If you does not know it, anyway, I will discuss with an example so that you will understand the entire steps or algorithm how to delete elements in the B trees in the next video. Okay, thank you so much.